Essex beaten by Hampshire by just two runs, but a phenomenal performance by Adam Wheater, 98, uh, the last man out going for glory, but Adam, a wonderful innings that had taken us so tantalisingly close to victory. Yeah, I think, I think that's a shame, to be honest. If it was 40 runs short, then probably it wouldn't have hurt so much, but as it was two runs short, it just hurt a little bit more. Yes, indeed. And, uh, well, earlier on, uh, the weather had obviously intervened, uh, knocked a day out of play. Uh, you took four catches and uh, thrown really thrown back into the uh, wicket-keeper's role, weren't you, with the absence of James Foster? Uh, not a role that you'd uh, been particularly active in, in over the last year or so. No, it was a good test against Harbourjan because obviously he's a quality bowler. So I enjoyed it behind the stumps and luckily it was just one my day today. But uh, unfortunately we couldn't get over the line. Yes, indeed. And then we move on to this last day. And um, perhaps by the time you arrived at the crease, uh, things were heading or edging towards Hampshire. Uh, but you managed to retrieve that, the, retrieve the Essex interest. And then, as I say, you got us so tantalisingly close with some terrific clean hitting. Um, what was your intention when you went out there just to play your natural game and go after the attack? Well, I listened a lot to Tendo, and Tendo came in at tea when I wasn't batting and said it's a good wicket. and you can play your shots on this. So I followed what, his advice, and luckily the situation enabled me to do so. If if we had some more wickets, then I may have tried to play a different role. But with the lack of wickets, I chanced my arm, and unfortunately it didn't come off today. No, indeed. And then a little bit of added pressure right at the end, uh, batting with Tom Craddock, the last man. So you really had to time appropriately when you could take a single and uh, rely on him to uh, keep out the last two balls and then <laughs> rebuild uh, with the new bowler uh, you were facing in the next over. Yeah, as a batter you try and give yourself the majority of the strikes. So two balls and over was, was good enough for Krads. Um, it was a little bit of maths involved but nothing too tricky and um, as I said we, we came close but Krads great effort there. I've had a couple of partnerships with him at the end. He's a tough northerner, so he likes those situations. Well, indeed, Adam. Well, thanks for taking us so close to victory anyway. Uh, it was a wonderful innings. Uh, 98 deserved to be on the winning side, and I'm sure uh, another repeat performance like that, and this time we'll be, next time we'll be talking to you about uh, a wonderful Essex win that you've underpinned. Thanks for your time.